Right, so this part here is off a motorbike a stem neck. It's a support unit. It's, it's obviously bent. It's meant to be go around some 50 mil tube, but I've cut it off because I've replicated some new ones, much stronger ones. So basically, if I wanted to make replicate that out of thicker material, I've cut it off the frame the best as I can. So to to draw that, to cut that out with a grinder, it, it'll be a nightmare. So basically, again. This function here, so again, just using my little 3D printer part. Again, if anyone buys this machine, contact me. I'll quite happily send you it. Just basically, because I just I can't be bothered to take the stylus out. So basically, if I wanted to follow this, so you go to trace, and you've got the trace lines. So start off. You might have to come a bit down here, John. I think. Right, so we start on that corner right there. Basically, all you gotta do is make sure that line's on and just keep pressing this little uh, knob button there. So basically, pull it down a bit, click, click, click. So that's that's picking up a point. Yeah, that's, that's picking up the point, yeah. That's, that, that's like a dot to dot, isn't it? Yeah, just well, that's exactly what it is. That's all dot it is. Dot, yeah. So there. And obviously, a straight line you just need yeah, to change. Just, yeah. Or, or on a curve, you're trying to follow the radius. Yeah, on a curve, you, you press it a few times so it picks it up. So yeah. Obviously, the more reference points you put in, the better, the better yeah. will it be. Yeah. So there. Angles off a bit there. there. You could cut, it'd be good for cutting gaskets, like a copper gasket. Oh, it, brilliant for gaskets. I often make copper gaskets for uh, joints on steam engines. You see, it, tracing it, do it this way. I mean, it will be a bastard to try and draw that. Oh, hands down. You know, like on, 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 a, on a computer to draw it. Even on a grinder, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh. You'd be forever. Yeah. So, we used to do it, didn't we? That's all we had. Yeah. So I'm just picking these lines up, and there's a little curve bit there, so click, 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 straight to the edge of there, and basically, Right, right, let's have a look. Right, so, so you, you, that's what. Right, okay, yeah. That's yeah. what, that would now cut that out, as like that. You know, and obviously, to get like the curvature, obviously, I've just ground that out. But, see, if you, it's basically they call nodes. The more little nodes on a corner, yeah. the better the, the radius. But what you could do there is, so now, I could save that. Onto my USB stick, and I could take that in the house onto my software from the Extreme Plasma, and then I could basically clean that up. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. say for example that there is 55 mil, yeah. I could just draw a 55 mil circle, put it there, and then the likes of these, I think they're like 20 mil. You can just put yeah, it in if the, you wanted to make it bigger, like bigger make, scale, make three mil yeah. bigger to weld it in, it, yeah, or, or, or smaller, yeah, it's easy, yeah. and you basically. If I want to, that will cut that out there, exactly like that there now. And then obviously you just go in with the grinder, clean it up, you know, if so, if it was like a, a repair job, but or you couldn't just like, just draw, cut all that out, it would be a little grinder. So like, like, if, if it was a patch for a car, you could make it with a cardboard? Yeah. And trace all the cardboard? Yeah. Or yeah. Like, such as uh, agricultural stuff, trailers, or if that was a, a structural support for something. Yeah. And it would need to be out of five mil. Trying to grind five mil out of something like that. Mm. Trace it round, get the nodes, and then that will we, cut we, that we, up. we used to make cardboard templates and then cut them with a grinder, but yeah. now you, you can actually trace your cardboard template. All by would, simply yeah. pressing that button. Yeah. And obviously, the Arcroy comes with a stylus pen to, to do this tracing. Yeah. But for, you'll, you'll, you'll find that easier. For, I find that easier because it just keeps the torch on. Yeah. You're not changing the torch out. You know what I mean? You're faffing around. But again, it's, it's all down to personal preference. But Are we going to cut it? I yeah. can't. I can't wait to cut it. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll yeah. cut it. Uh, I think I've got some two mil. We should be able to cut it out on. So now, so basically, it's now into the setting where it's just ready straight to cut. So we'll just press run.
Right, so that's the back piece. That's the front piece. So if that was five mil, <laughs> you know, it's, it, the scan software on that, that's what makes that machine totally different and stand out from the rest to be Absolutely. fair. Absolutely. Right, so now I'd like to show what else, other than doing fat stuff, I've purposely made this sort of jig, so obviously if you think and watch them, this was a job what I did for a guy a couple of weeks back where he makes fencing rails and he wanted the box section to run through the main legs itself because he says he didn't want to weld it straight to that, he says he wanted the maximum strength and he didn't want to keep making individual cuts. So what you get is you can actually buy this from Robert Extreme Plasma, it's a, called a centre finder. So again, you make the table your own, so you can make it to however you want it. You can make it. it basically, it, it's a it's a mobile jig for anything. So by me making these little jig fixtures in this little arm here, so say for example, I wanted to put this all the way through, so it's obviously you get the maximum strength and you don't have to keep cutting. So all I do is just line that up in the jig like that. And you put the center finder on the corner of the box section. So by just lifting the torch up, and all you do is just lift it slowly down to find the center, which is right there. So now it's bang on on the center of that. So basically just lift it up. You can leave it on or you can take it off or whatever. So now the torch is right on the corner of there. So we want, that is, I think it was believe it was 19 mil. So just say for example, we want to put a 21 mil, a 20 mil square. So trace, find the square and click it. 20 mil by 20 mil, but we want it 100 mil down and then we want it central. We know, so basically you just click 100. So the torch is re referenced on the corner of that yeah, bit of board, the yeah? the torch is referenced in that okay, corner. Right. So that, that's, your, that's your reference point. Yeah, yep. so okay. now I need that torch to cut centre 100 mil down. So that box in there, section there is 55, I believe, which I'm sure it is. I think, it, I believe it is, yeah. So we want, Minus 25. So now that should line up center. We want an inside cut, right cut, when it's cutting on the set in the center of it. Three mil lead in. So there it is. So now we're going to cut that square it'll in cut, the middle. It'll cut that square. In a hundred mil from the end, yeah? Yeah. That side's cut out, so basically now, obviously, I've moved the torch away, which it doesn't matter now, so simply turn it over, put it back in the jig, just make sure it's all butted up, like that. Now that is still targeted for that centre hole, so that will cut in there, so we'll do it now. So this will cut the back side of it now. Because it still knows where yeah, it's, it's still knows where it's at. By, 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 by using your jig, yeah. yeah. There's a good, picture. Yeah, yeah. And basically, <coughs> this should now. That's nothing much no matter what that is, isn't it? No. Yeah. Well there, well there, and how much stronger is that going to be instead of cutting them up? We've just been working in this little area, but if you look at the screen, you've got this envelope here, but that envelope is pretty much the whole size of the that bench. The whole yeah. size of this bench, it will do. Rob uh, does a, there's an extension kit where you can make it 
twice as long. And I think that I'm going to get that one just basically because I, I like playing around with these machines and whatever. But, but for this size, for anything that big, that big, if you're just doing brackets for gates, for you, you can cut anything up to 12 mil. So if you're making brackets for agricultural vehicles, if something snapped, simply just draw it. Put that anywhere you want in, in your building, flat plate, anywhere you want, four bolts, align it, and it's basically cut. Whereas the likes of your normal plasma tables like Extreme and all the other makes, once they're down, they're down, you can't move them, they're not mobile. This is the beauty of this. Right, Ray, thanks very much, mate. You're welcome, John, as always. I, I, as always. I appreciate your time showing us that. I believe it was a forum as well on Facebook. Yes, the you've got Rob's own channel, yeah. uh, Extreme Plasma. Yeah, you, you, you'll see me on there. Yeah, basically, we all on there. And then you've got like the the Artroid uh, forums where all the owners who have these go on and share so you're, you're, information. You're, you're sharing files, you're yeah. helping each other. You're yeah. helping each other. So even if like, are we in the UK, if, say, for example, you've got a problem with the machine, you've got a lot of UK people like yourself and others, and then obviously yeah. you've got Rob, the main dealer. It's as simple as ringing a human up in the UK. And if you need advice, you've got help straight away. I, mean, I, I must admit, Rob, he, he's after sales service. Oh, second to none. He, he, can, he, he you can't, can't do it. enough for no, you. No, yeah. you can't do enough for you. Right. If if it's broke, he'll fix it. Yeah. Straight, no, no squibbles. You know what I mean? If you need advice on cut settings, go on the farm, like myself and others, will help you and guide you on, on what we've learned. And so basically, it's like if you buy something from Amazon. You've got no yeah, support. You've got good. no support. Whereas this comes from obviously it's a it's a USA made machine, but it's got UK customer service, which yeah. hands down you you, you cannot scribble. You can you can't argue with it. There's always help and there's, there's always advice when someone needs it. I'm not surprised you're using this more than the table to tell you, the <laughs> especially for for the size of work you're doing. It's, it's just so easy, and yeah, yeah I can sit in the drawer yeah. while watching TV. I can be watching you, John, on YouTube as we speak, having me dinner while drawing a path. With my feet up, I can draw that space eh, in the likes of sheet cam, anything like that, because obviously sheet cam you've got a bit more control. So basically, draw it on there, put on the stick, come in here, switch one plug, switch your plasma unit on, put the metal in, that's it. And it's easy as that. Like you say, it is uh, a game changer, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's, uh, I'm just pleased that obviously. Rob's brought them into the UK. It's not mobile, but it is portable. It's, you it's could, portable. Yeah, you could, it's you portable. could take that to work. Yeah. Oh, you could take that to work. Yeah. yeah. You, 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 you could work off the back of a pickup body for yeah. that, though. Yeah, you know, if you like, a field engineer making brackets, yeah. you could. Yeah. Yeah. So as, you, as long as you've got a generator that'll run the. Yeah. If you haven't got a generator, if the company who wants this part making, if you've got a uh, sixteen amp yeah, setup yeah. and you've got a compressor, say right. I'll bring the machine yeah. and I'll do it. So you, yeah, you can fabricate or repair parts. Wherever you are. Weld them in yeah. Yeah, on the job. Yeah. Like you say, it is. It's a, it is. It's it's because there's no way you can put a table no, in the back of your pickup. No, pick definitely you not. could take that. A shop that's doing sort of prototype work. Yes. It's just, instead of, it's just quick. The cut is just a drawn to yeah. cardboard. Yeah. You know, people are sending stuff to be laser cut. Yeah. And there's a time frame where it's, it, you've got it in a 10 foot square shed and you're gone. And not only that. Laser companies want a minimum of 40, 50 parts. Right. Yeah, yeah. Whereas that, get your metal. Couple hours if you want to do, like you say, if you want to do some more of them spaces, if you want to do 10 of them, just get a, five, uh, a 500 by 500 sheet of metal, put it in, locate it, yeah. jobs are good. Yeah, absolutely brilliant, mate. Oh, you must admit, I'm very impressed. Yeah, it's a, it's a good addition for the price as well.